Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, Polish nation suffered greatly during the Second World War. Poland, in its entirety, was under a dual German and Soviet occupation. Practically every Polish family mourned the loss of loved ones who perished at the hands of these occupying powers. Poland was the first victim of the Third Reich during the war. Death and suffering in the Nazi German concentration camps was a fate shared by Jews, Poles, and those of many other national and ethnic groups. Similar laws operate in other countries across Europe and the world. Holocaust denial is not only a denial of German crimes, but also other ways of falsifying history. One of the worst types of this lie occurs when someone diminishes the responsibility of real perpetrators and attributes that responsibility to their victims. We want to fight against this lie in its every form. This is why we are amending the law of the Institute of National Remembrance. The Polish state and individual Polish citizens have worked to ensure that the German concentration camps are preserved as memorials and physical reminders of the traumatic history at these sites. In its struggle against false claims, imputing the participation of the Republic of Poland in the German crime machine, Poland advocates for the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, the Holocaust was also an unthinkable tragedy for Poland. That the Nazi enacted a death penalty for Poles hiding Jews shows that the Germans knew Poles would help their Polish Jewish brothers. We fully understand the emotions of Israel. There is a tremendous amount of work ahead of us to weave our shared, often complicated past into a common historical narrative we can tell together. Today, as the world must once again fight against new waves of anti-Semitism, the Polish government states its position clearly. There is no room for hatred or the distortion of history.